Hello and welcome to the 59 tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the friend function. A friend function does not actually belong to a class but can access its private and protected variables and methods. It is declared in a class declaration but it doesn't actually belong to it. Let's just show you what we mean by that and how to implement a friend function. So what we're going to do is create a simple class and we're going to call it friend function. No, it's a class, we're going to call it friend function. And we're just going to create a overloaded constructor. It just takes in a variable, which is an integer, and we're going to call it tan. And to create a friend function, we use the keyword friend. Then, well, we just put our function afterwards. Just spell friend right. So you do void or whatever you want it to be. For this instance, I'm going to do void print number. And in here, we're going to take in another friend function object. So we're going to do friend function and we're going to call it friend func. And then we're going to do create some private variables. Actually, one second, I'm going to make these public. Private so int i void private method and now what we're going to do is oh, we need to put brackets there. We're just going to do friend function colon colon friend function. Just simply implementing our constructor. So we do i equals temp. Now what we're going to do is implement our friend function. One thing to know is you don't actually put the class name and code on colon at all. You just implement it as if it was a function on its own. So we can do void. Was I meant to put it there? Let me put it down here. So we'll just do void point number. And in here it's going to take friend function friend func and what this is going to do is std c out friend func dot i std and line plus by std right and then what we're going to do is just do friend func dot private method we're just going to call that as well and for this we can do void friend function private method we're going to do std c out private std and line and now what we can do is just create a friend function objects of friend function Call it fun passing the value of four, so or is initialized to four. And we're going to do print number. As you can see, we access it by just putting the function name. We don't do fun dot um, print number because you can't actually sorry you can't actually access it that way at all. Because even though it's declared in here, because it's a friend function, it's implemented outside outside the bounds of the class but you can still access the class's internal methods private methods I should say the, that's what's key they private methods and variables that it's really trying to access so I was going to do print number and then here we're going to pass in func now if we run this we get a value of four and private so what we did was we was able to access func because if we do std c out and line and we try and access or print out i do func dot i it'll crash because it's saying i is a private member so even though it's a private member this friend function was able to access it that to access both the private members the variable and the method itself so if we're running again we get four printed out i which is private 
and also the method which is also private in this method this is very simple just to see out that's just the purpose of this tutorial to show you um, what it is and if we were to just get rid of friend a second and run this we got build file because it says oh, I the private member of friend function private method is a private member of friend function as you can see if we get rid of the friend keyword here it can't access I and private method anymore because it's not a friend of it. So you can think of it as sort of like real life. If you have friends in real life, you they'll probably share secrets with you that they wouldn't share with other people. So it's sort of similar to that. And that's it for this part of the series. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at the friend class, so an, ex uh, an extension of the general keyword friend. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links or source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a one day.